Hi, my name is Gisela Marti, Creative Director for Tammy Taylor Nails. The technique that I'm going to be sharing with you today, it is called tie-dye, also known as batik. It is a very simple technique, but full of many artistic possibilities. The guest artist, product from different Tammy Taylor lines. Are you ready? So let's get started. The products that we are going to be using for this tie-dye technique are the following. From the Gelegans different collections, gel color polishes, we're going to be working with the French Strawberry Meringue, Whimsical, Panama Pink, Simply Sundress, Sahara Nights, French Vanilla, Electric Sky, Living It Up, Sweetscape, Mediterranean Sea. We also gonna be needing our flawless foundation and the into the matte top coat. As tools, we're gonna be working with the bold striper and the long striper. We're gonna be needing the clean it. We're gonna be working with the Prisma Bonaire Blue we need a small crystal dappen dish, our nourishing oil. Last but not least, we have our wipe it and our towelettes. Okay, let's start defining what it is tie-dye and when it becomes batik. Tie-dye is a combination of different colors together, making it look a beautiful background. We have tie-dye, regular tie-dye, and we also have dripping tie-dye, like in these two nails that I have over here. When you add an inside detail or design, it becomes batik. So now that we know what tie-dye and batik is, let's get started. The first step on the design would be the application of the flawless foundation, which I already did. Then I apply a very thin coat of the French vanilla. Now I'm gonna use an spongy sponge and I'm gonna start taking one color at a time and pressing it over the nail. You can start with whichever is the color that you feel that is the most beautiful color. I'm gonna start with my green and I'm gonna start pressing over on this particular area. Then I'm gonna take my orange, and I'm gonna take the dark orange just a little bit. And if you notice, as I'm pressing, I'm overlapping the other color. Once I do that, I'm gonna follow with my third color, which is going to be my magenta. This is an awesome color, and as you see, as I am overlapping the other colors, Follow with a lighter color over here. I'm going to take this light yellow overlapping both sides. Overlapping. Then I'm going to take my next color, which I'm going to be using a little bit of that pink. Has to be somewhere over here. See how gorgeous when you touch it becomes? Really beautiful. I'm gonna bring it into the green. Once, I already have just one empty space over here and I'm gonna take my teal color and I'm gonna press on the side coming into the pink. Get a little bit more of that light yellow and press it down into that area coming into my magenta, yeah, a little bit over here. And as you see, the more I press, I'm blending all the colors together. It looks amazingly beautiful. Now, I'm gonna choose two areas of my background. And I like the magenta, but I also like this area over here of my teal. Using my bow striper, I'm going to start with the magenta. 
And I'm gonna take an, a small amount just like this one. Inside of the magenta, I'm gonna put some dots, small dots. And from those dots, I'm gonna pull the color to the sides, whichever area you wanna pull it, creating a gorgeous design. You wanna do one all the way up, you do one all the way up. See how beautiful it looks? It looks like all is coming from that area that you sponged before. I'm gonna clean the tip of my brush and now I'm gonna take this area over here and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna take small amount and I'm going to put some dots. Now remember, since everything is gel, they're gonna keep flowing and flowing. And there we go, we're gonna start pulling. You can also use the long striper, and in this case, you will bring the long stri striper all the way up, all the way to the side. You decide where you wanna pull. If you wanna pull to the, to the side, to the, other, the opposite side, if you wanna pull down, you can pull down. But what is going to happen over here is that the colors, they're gonna blend and they're gonna create a pattern, a unique pattern once they move. And here it is. I got over here my teal and I have over here my second pattern which is the magenta. Now I'm gonna cure for two minutes if you're using a UV lamp, but if you're using an LED lamp, you will be curing for one minute. Okay, now that it's completely cured, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna seal the design. I'm gonna use the matte top coat because it makes it look really beautiful. But you can also use the flawless finish if you want shine. Once you apply the matte top coat, then it goes to the lamp again. Remember, if you're using UV, it's going to be two minutes. And if you're using LED, it's going to be one minute. Okay, now it's completely cured. And what I did was I took my clean it and I cleaned the surface. And you can see how beautiful the result of the tie dye it is. Our second design is gonna be the same technique, the tie dye but this time we're gonna do it only on the free edge of the nail. So the way we do it would be, first we're gonna apply the flawless foundation, then I applied the French strawberry meringue on the nail area, and then the French vanilla on the free edge. Cure two minutes under UV, one minute under LED. Now my background is already prepared. I'm gonna start with whichever color I feel that is gonna give me more excitement. And I'm gonna start with the pink, the Panama pink, which is an awesome, beautiful pink. And I'm gonna put it on that side of my free edge. I'm gonna use the orange, and I'm gonna apply the orange right on the center. And I'm going to apply it a little on top of that Pink. I'm gonna overlap the color. I'm gonna take that green and it's gonna come right there. Look how beautiful that green is getting so happy close to the orange. Now I'm gonna take my teal and I'm gonna bring the teal right to the end. And look how beautiful the teal overlapping that yellow. Now I have this side over here and on this side, I want to apply the magenta and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did on the first side and I'm overlapping over that orange and I still have a small space over here and I'm gonna use my light yellow. And look how gorgeous that combination it is, it's beautiful. Now. If I have anything that I have to clean, I can use any one of my brushes, my gel brushes to clean, but this is perfect over here. 
Now I'm going to take whichever is the color that I feel that it should be my main point. And in this case, I'm going to use the magenta once again, just small dots on the area and then pull it, pull to each one of the sides, whichever is the side that you want it to shine. That's where you're going to pull the color from the top. Pull long down. As you pull, it's just going to go over the rest of the color. And look how beautiful already it's looking, that area. Now I'm going to pull some from the bottom, so I'm going to use the teal. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to put some dots. When you put those small dots, what it does, it blends more, giving, giving you more concentration of the color and then start pulling to the sides. Remember, you can also use the long striper to do that movement. And I'm gonna use the long striper because I want long lines to come all the way up. And I'm gonna pull one all the way down and I'm gonna keep pulling to the other side. And look how gorgeous that looks. Now that I finished pulling, I'm going to cure. It's gonna be two minutes under UV, one minute under LED. Okay, now it's completely cured, and I clean it with my clean it. You have to be sure that the whole surface is completely clean before you start doing a design over it. So let's create a design, and I'm gonna use my deep blue and the tip of my bowl striper, and I'm gonna place it, and then I'm gonna pull it, and I'm going to place it, and keep pulling, creating long teardrops. Place it, pull it. Try to use a color that stands over the rest of the colors. Don't use a light color that is not going to give you the statement. And in this particular case, I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to curve. One more over here. And very simple. Uh, let's add one more over here. One teardrop right there. And let's get very happy and add one more over here. This is it. Once you do the design that you want to do, in this particular case, I'm going to pour some Prisma powders of the same color that I used to create my design. That's why it's so important that the surface is completely sealed. If you don't seal it and clean it, when you drop the powder, it's gonna be all over the place, and you want to be sure that it's completely defined your design. You are gonna pour a couple of times, probably three to four times before curing this design over the lamp. And this is it. Now I'm gonna cure over the lamp, and if you're using UV, just like we mentioned before, it's gonna be two minutes. If you're using LED, it's going to be one minute. Okay, now it's completely cured. What I'm gonna do, my last step would be cleaning the surface of the nail again, because we already cleaned it once. Now we're gonna clean it again, and I'm gonna pour some Clean It, and with my wipe it, or my towelette, I'm gonna clean the nail, and this is the final result. Look how beautiful it looks. So here we have the two samples of the designs that we did today. This is tie-dye technique known as also batik. How fun and easy was that? I'm sure that if you take this technique and apply it with your client's favorite colors, they will love it. Until next time, have fun. <laughs>